Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Julie K here with a little bit of a tutorial type video. I've had a few people ask me a question as far as how I make my edges burnt on my pockets in my journals and then also distressing the edges. So I just thought I would kind of do a quick tutorial because it's really easy. Um, and here's the one that, um, I, like I said, I got a few questions from off of my bird and butterfly junk journal. So you can see the edges look burnt right there. So I will show you guys real quick how I do that. First thing is I, you need some sort of ink and in a darker color to make it look burnt. And so I usually choose the archival ink by Ranger. This is a really old pad. I know their newer pads look a little bit different. Um, and this is a coffee colored pad. Um, but for, I know a lot of you guys use the, the Distress Ink, the vintage photo, that one will also work just as well. You'll need some sort of image to work with. And so I chose this one for today. And it's just from some scrapbooking paper. And I can show you guys. It came from, because I have one more sheet of this paper. And this one also has the bird image. It came from some bow bunny paper. Is from the Garden Journal collection that was out in 2015. But you can see here's that bird image that I use in that journal I just showed you guys. And then here's the image that we're going to work with right now. And then besides an image and some ink, you're going to need some sort of applicator. So I just took a couple out of my stash and these will all work. I know many people have the ones um, from Tim Holtz. These types of, this one has foam on it and this one's felt. A makeup sponge, work, sponge works really good. This is also just another like a kitchen sponge. Um, it was a bit round one and I just cut it, cut it up. That works well. These ones you can just run once you've done ink in them. You can just run them under the water and clean them and use them again. And about 20 years ago, I purchased this and I still use it quite a bit. And the same thing, I just run it under the water to clean off the ink in between applications. And this works well too. Um, I just like holding on to this one. So this one's usually the one that I go for. So that's the one I'm just gonna do the tutorial with. But the first thing you do is once you've chosen your image is you wanna tear around it. So I'm gonna tear just this flower part. I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better. And all I'm doing is just tearing the paper. So I'll be able to put this, like here's a journal I'm currently working in. Um, I'll just be able to put this like in a corner somewhere in the journal as a tuck spot. So... Once you have your image and you've torn it and you can kind of see that there's a little bit of texture and you can see some of the white behind it that I tore right there because the core of the paper was white. I'm just gonna ink my pad. And I'm just gonna go around the edges with it. I also like these edges. And I think I'm just gonna go grab my corner rounder real quick. So just hold on. I usually have rounded corners in my journals, so I'm just gonna round that one right away. And I just used uh, the We Are Memory Keepers Crocodile one to do that. So I've gone around this once and I'm going to try and make it a little bit darker so I'm going to go around it a second time because it does get darker with each application that you do with the ink. So 
So now you guys can see I have a little pocket or tuck spot and the edges are burnt looking. Very similar to that bird one that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So that, like I said, that's a really simple technique. And one other option that you guys can do also to distress your edges and make them a little more shabby looking is to either use a scissors or um, a distress tool. I just have one from close to my heart. There's also like a Tim Holtz one that's red and it's a little bit smaller than this and all it is is a blade that's inside there. But you can also use the scissors and I'll show you guys how to do that. So just to begin with again take another image and I'm just going to take this little flower image and this image right here comes from the lilac and lavender blog spot. She has a lot of really nice stuff um, that free to use for personal use. So I'm just going to take this one and I'll end up using um, this as a little embellishment in my journal. And again, I'm just going to ink the edges. And this time I just cut it out. I just fussy cut this out into a square. And then to distress the edges using a distress tool. Such as this one, you're just going to take, because if you can see there's a blade right in there, you're just going to rub it along here and it's just going to rough up my edges is all that's doing. And hopefully it shows up on my camera. You can see it's kind of rough there and it's still smooth on the other three sides. So you just keep on doing that until you like it. You can do it where you kind of tear into the page a little bit. So I'll do that on two sides here. Then I'll show you how to do it with your scissors if you don't own a tool. I just find these are easier to do um, than with the scissors. So now I've roughed up the two sides right there. So now you just take a scissors and any scissors will do. And on the sides that you haven't roughed, you can do the exact same thing and you just rub your scissors up against it. And you're going to get the exact same look as you do with the distress tool. But most people own scissors and it's a great way for those of you guys who are just starting out um, junk journaling and making embellishments and stuff. It's a great way to add a little texture to your, to your project. So now you can see that the edges are roughed. And if they look too white to you, you can always go back in and add some more ink around it once you've roughed it up a little bit. And so that's my finished product there. And so now what I'd probably do um, for using this in the journals, I'd probably go around with it with some eyelash trim and then maybe layer it on some other type of piece of paper. Like if this was it, I would maybe layer it like this. If this was the corner tuck spot on this side, I would layer it with some, put some eyelash trim and then maybe a sentiment. Um, so hopefully this helps some of you guys who are just starting out on how to distress your edges, making them look burnt and then also just roughed up a little bit. Let me know what you guys think and thanks so much for watching.